what is infrastructure as code? Well, let's take an example. Let's say we manufacture cars. It's, um, it's made up of a chassis, a body, an engine, uh, the seats, the dashboard, right? all the things that, that are needed um, as ingredients, sort of, uh, or we need to build in order to make this car. Infrastructure as code is sort of like this configuration file of how to put all of these things together, how to make the car seat, and then uh, how to make the dash, how to make the make the um, body and bring you know, and engine and bring all of all of these things together. So it's like this configuration file of the specifications of the individual things and then their relationships with the uh, the bigger thing, which is the car, right? Uh, and how they play with each other. So that's your uh, infrastructure as code configuration file. Now there are two types of formats of infrastructure as code: a declarative format and an imperative format. The declarative format is where uh, you basically define the end state of the environment. So in this case, the end state is the car, right? You don't care if the seat is made first or if the if the engine is made first or or how they're made, but the end state is, um, is the end car, basically. That's the um, environment that you want, right? Now that's um, if the car, if the seat already exists, the script or the configuration file would end up using the seat that already exists and wouldn't create one. If the engine already exists, it would use the engine that already exists and wouldn't create one. But if it doesn't exist, it would create one and then put it together in that um, in that whole configuration, right? So that's what a declarative approach is. You tell the end state of what you want um, in your environment, which is the car, and then you know, it takes care of the, con uh, the configuration file would take care of what exists, what doesn't exist, what to create, and what those relationships would be. Now. Now, on the other hand, the imperative approach is where um, you define every single step of the process in the configuration file. Like create the seat, do it this way. Create the dashboard, do it this way. And then, um, so there, there are possibilities of breaking in this process because if the seat already exists, it's going to throw up and be like, wait, what? I don't know what to do at this point. So anyway, that's what an imperative approach is. Now, Terraform is a declarative approach. Um, so if you've heard of Terraform, um, you, we are talking about giving the end state to Terraform and the Terraform creating configuration files for or your environment to come up with that final environment that uh, that you ask it to create.